Taryn, and this is Taryn's Take Grammys Edition. One of the most important nights in music happens Sunday night, the 57th Annual Grammy Awards. But more important than those little gold trophies are the fashion. Some stars left us speechless in good ways, and some left us speechless in terrible ways. So here's Taryn's Take on all the Grammy fashion. Our first worst dress of the night goes to Rihanna in Jean Baptiste Valley. Now I love pink and everything, but this is way too much. There is at least five pounds too much extra fabric, and she looks just like one of those little girl Barbie cakes. And that is just wrong. You're so much better than that, Rihanna. What the heck is this? Next up, we have Iggy Azalea's hair. Her dress by Armani Privé looks great. Her makeup looks great. But why would you make your hair a bird's nest for the Grammys? You cannot tell me that looks good. And after the show, after she lost all four of her Grammy nominations, which I'm very thankful for, she went on a Twitter rant against Papa John's saying that after she ordered a pizza herself, they wouldn't stop texting and calling her. But why would you be doing that yourself? You're Iggy Azalea. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. I used to love you, but this whole new thing with your album Sucker is just really not working for me. And my problem's not that she's in a suit. Anna Kendrick, she did it right on the exact same night. My problem with this goes from head to toe. The baby pink fur wrist warmer thing that she draped herself in was also completely unnecessary. And it was real fur, which is actually really disgusting. My next problem is with the actual pants. If you look at the bottom, they don't even fit. They're way too long and they're wrinkled. And my last problem with this outfit is with the shoes. Not only do the shoes add a third different kind of pink, the style is just ugly. Last and least, we have Madonna. She showed up in a Givenchy corset S&M Dutch milkmaid bodysuit thing. I have no idea what was going on, but I know that it didn't work. And Madonna, you're 56 years old. It's just disgusting. The performance was okay, but you're too old for this. The grill that you had in your mouth during the show was also way too young for you. Sorry, Madonna, you lost it, and this outfit was just reductive. Now onto the best dress at the Grammys. First, let's talk about Nicki Minaj, who showed up in a sequined black Tom Ford gown. Not only did she look classy, yet still sexy at the same time, I think she finally learned how to look good without just trying to attract attention with that colorful mush she used to wear. Remember the last time at the Grammys she showed up as a cheetah, and the other time she showed up with a priest? I think she finally learned how to do it right with this next album. Next up on our best dress list, we have Gwen Stefani in a black Altier Versace pantsuit. She finally learned how to leave her hooker red lipstick at home, and it made her look so beautiful. Versace can also do no wrong in my eyes, and this outfit just proved it. And the best dress at the Grammys goes to Lady Gaga. She showed up in a custom Brandon Maxwell silver beaded gown with Lorraine Schwartz jewels, and then changed outfits for her Grammy performance with Tony Bennett into another custom Brandon Maxwell black gown with some feathers and tons of rhinestones, and she just looked so beautiful. Not only did they win their sixth Grammy that night, she stunned everybody showing up looking better than she has ever looked. Last time she walked the Grammys was in the A. And now to this, I just can't even handle it. This is the best she has ever looked, and I love it. So there you have it, Terrence's take on the best and worst fashion of the 2015 Grammy Awards. Not trying to start fan wars here, people, just speaking the truth. To see more stories like these, go to massmedia.plu.edu and be sure to follow Terrence Take on Twitter for 24-hour content updates on everything pop culture.